Welcome to the ninth box break, uh, the second half of this case of Select 2012 Eternity. We'll um, start cracking open the packets now. Still looking for all three redemption cards out of this case. Hopefully that will hit. Hall of Fame there, first pack. So just a quick reminder, um, what you're looking for in a box is basically 12 hits. And then hopefully 13 with that extra one with a redemption card. Nathan Buckley Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame cards are basically one per pack. And you're getting a parallel version of those Hall of Fame cards, 33 in the set. Next pack. Hall of Fame, again. Next pack. Just a Hall of Fame in that one. No hits yet so far in this box. Next pack. Tony Shaw, Hall of Fame. Nice players in this uh, Hall of Fame set. It's actually Series 4 Hall of Fame. Following on from the other three sets that have been produced. Noel Teasdale, Hall of Fame. Next pack. I fit our first Hall of Fame parallel card for this box. And it's Stan Hill. Uh, 648 of 800. I had a guess at 548 because a lot of them have been. Next pack. Still searching for one of those redemptions. We're in our ninth box. Hopefully for Glenn I pull out three redemptions in this case. Hopefully it's not a dud case. And we get under the odds. Gavin Wanganeen, Hall of Fame. And that's 348 of 800. Next pack. And we've hit our AFL VFL Premiership. It's a Collingwood one, 1927. These are uh, one per box, follow on from previous seasons. And that's limited edition number 376 of 400. So that's our one per box AFL VFL Premiership card. Next pack. And we've hit our uh, draft pick signature in the next pack. And it's a Sydney Swans guy, Tom Mitchell. Once again, nice signature. I think they've done a great job on the uh, signatures on these cards. They fill that box area beautifully at the bottom of them. And this one's limited edition number 96 of 300, and here's draft pick signature number 11. So that's our draft pick signature for this box. Next pack. Hall of Fame parallel card, Ross Smith. That one's limited edition number 548 of 800. Next packet. Hit our first uh, All Australian for this box, Sam Mitchell. Kevin Cheedy Hall of Fame. Quite like the All Australian cards in the, the uh, foil. Nice, simple card, like a parallel card. We've hit our patch card in the next pack. Club logo patch and it's a popular club, Hawthorne. Luke Hodge hasn't played a lot of football this year but we've got Luke Hodge in the uh, patch card there. We'll see what number he is. Uh, limited edition number 174. That's a nice card, the club logo patch card for this box, Hawthorne. Wayne Carey Hall of Fame. Next pack. Gavin Wanganeen, Hall of Fame. Next pack. Michael Long, Hall of Fame. So it'd be nice if we can hit a 
medal winner card in this box as well. We've been hitting mainly the uh, legends, which are in the combined odds with the uh, medal winners. Brian Dixon, Hall of Fame, and that's 648 parallel. Next pack. Bill Morris, Hall of Fame. So we're still searching for those redemptions. Next pack. Hall of Fame again. Next pack. Ross Smith, Hall of Fame. Next pack. And we've hit a uh, All Australian, but this one's the second one we've had for the uh, the case where the uh, protective sleeve is peeling off at the front. It's Daisy Thomas. So that one will go back to. Uh, Select, I'm sure, via Glenn. Next pack. And we've hit a medal winner. And it's Jimmy Bartell, medal winner. And that's the Norm Smith medalist. Last year's grand final. Nice looking card, those medal winners. Big fan of those. They won't be as common as they have been in previous seasons, especially with the combined odds. Darren Jarman. So they, I do expect those medal winners to be slightly higher in price than they have been in pre previous seasons. Um, they were flooded on the markets generally in previous seasons. Guy McKenna, Hall of Fame. Next pack. Michael Voss, Hall of Fame. Next pack. Just a Hall of Fame out of that one again. Checklist card. Next pack. And we pulled a uh, All Australian, Corey Enright. next pack so we're getting towards the end of this <coughs> ninth box in the case Glenn Jakovic Hall of Fame next pack Wayne Carey Hall of Fame next pack Peter Carey Hall of Fame. So we've gone quiet here. Just starting to run down these packets in this box. Next pack. James Hurd Hall of Fame. Next pack. Hall of Fame checklist card. Uh, last five packets in this uh, box break, box break number nine. Paul Kelly Hall of Fame. Next pack. Gary Hocking Hall of Fame. Next pack. Ten hands, Hall of Fame. So two packs to go in this ninth box break. And we've hit a Hall uh, All Australian Adam Goods. Nice looking card that All All Australian Adam Goods one. Mark Rusciuto Hall of Fame. So the last packet in the ninth box break. No redemptions yet. Can we pull one out of this last packet? 
And the answer is no. Robert Dippier Domenico, Hall of Fame card. So that's all the uh, packets open. So just a quick summary of the cards we pulled out of this ninth box break of 2012 Select AFL Eternity. Pulled out on the odds, uh, no extra, extra redemptions. Four parallel Hall of Fame cards, Brian Dixon, Ross Smith, Gavin Wanganeen, and Stan Heal. Four All-Australians, Adam Goods, Corey Enright, Sam Mitchell, and Daisy Thomas, and that one came out as we showed you during the thing with the damage to the front, with the, the layer being peeled off. Now also we've got our uh, one per box patch card, nice looking card, is the Hawthorne one. Logo patch, number 174. Now basically one in every two boxes, uh, medal winner, and that's uh, Jimmy Bartell. Nice looking card, I like the front and back of those cards. AFL VFL Premiership card 1927 Collingwood limited edition number 376 and also a Sydney Swans draft pick signature Tom Mitchell nice signature on that and that one's limited edition number 96 of the 300 so once again thanks to Glenn from Gold Coast Trading Cards all these cards will be for sale in his eBay shop and quick sales store uh, just check below also for a link to our Facebook page. Go to Facebook and like us there to keep up to date with any um, box breaks and so forth happening in the future. And uh, also keep an eye out now for box break number 10 coming soon. Still looking for those three redemptions.